Uh, this is your brake servo. This is, when the car moves, you'll see that, see this thing move here? That's the inside mechanism. Now, what you have here, what applies this thing, it's a clutch. These are always vertical, okay? This one goes to the brake pedal. This one goes back to the brake shoes. In the back? In the back, through a series of linkages, right? Okay, so when you pull this, go ahead and pull it. See that, see that thing move in and out? So that's what's, it's applying that clutch. And this is your, your, your booster. This is what gives you extra force. Okay. Okay? And what are these two? Those two go back to the master cylinders. Those are what, when this grabs, it pulls the hydraulics that push your brake shoes out. Okay. There is a rubber seal that goes around the outside, which we will cover. I'll have to take that back off. Uh, and then that can on the back. Let me pull that off real quick so you can see the can. And it rides against this piece right here, so it kind of slows it down. It won't clank as bad. If this isn't in there, you'll get a lot of clanking. These will fall off all the time. You see this one's been glued back on, which is fine, just as long as it's attached. These are hard to get to on the car, but you have to take these little bolts out, and there's a little pin that slides out, and a little uh, funny, let me get... Are these clevis pin uh, kind no, of arrangements? Are, at the back, they're held on with bolts. These are little, little bolts here. Okay, there's a bolt, and then it has this funny little washer with a uh, kind of a seat cut into it, and then you have this little pin, and there you go. That one's off. It's real fun when it's on the car, and it, this is all above the frame, and you can't really get in there very well, but it's doable. I do it all the time. Um, so we remove that long center bolt. After we undo the Once you get all the linkages off, you, you can't really fully remove the bolt. You, you undo it, and then you've got to kind of work it out. Let me get this off here. One thing you want to remember is when you're taking these apart, you can lose some bolts because no, they'll go inside the frame. There's a little hole in there. But these things are precious. Do not lose those. The pins and those little washers, I've made them before but you're better off not losing them. This is the one interesting rod here. This is the one, this is the main pulling rod here. And you see it's got a joint in it. Okay, that's so that when you go in reverse, or, yeah, so it doesn't, um, it just gives, it needs to have a little more freedom. And you can't, you can put it on wrong. It's hard, but you can. Um, one thing you'll notice is it's got this extra lever here to keep it from going too far. This little plate here. That's your key. Okay. This thing, sorry everything's dirty guys. You can see that this thing is shaped kind of funny. This goes towards the back. If you remember that this goes towards the back also, that pin. It only goes on here one way. It won't go on the wrong way. If you look at it. See how the holes don't line up? This is way off. You never get it on there. So that's, that's one fortunate thing. Anyways. So now I'll pull this can off so you guys can see the, the rest of this stuff. Here's the tin can. It's made out of copper, I think. It's real flexible. It's real, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Copper or brass? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. copper. You can see, you can see the copper. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's got this rubber seal that goes around it, and that's to keep. You'll notice that the, the rubber seal, it has like a little gap here. See that? That should go towards the bottom when it's on the car. And what that do is it, it'll let out water if it gets in there. Okay? Now, one thing on this can is if you look at this, this, this plate, it's got a little shoulder here, very small, and that can needs to fit on there. Just right, whoops. Okay, it fits on there perfectly when it's right. And you notice, you saw that rubber, that rubber seal goes around the outside. 
um, this rubber seal goes on. We're just going to, and the gap goes out towards this plate. And the rubber seal has to go way out on the edge. And you saw this big hose clamp. And that's just to hold, squeeze this rubber to hold this on. I've seen a lot of cars come in where this is out a little bit on the, the tin can and tighten down so much that it doesn't allow this thing to float in there. It'll grab it and it won't work right. So this, this actually goes way out on the edge. I even go out just a little bit past the edge. That way when you tighten it, your little uh, plate inside still still free. That's critical. Hmm. All right. Now I'll show you how you take the rivet lining or the linings off. This is where you can get hurt working on these things. This has got a little spring plate in it. So it almost got me. Okay. There we go. See how that, that plate is all bowed up now? That's a spring plate. So if that didn't, if we didn't have some sort of way for this to slip, you would just, as you're driving down the road, you would just turn everything into a pretzel. So it gets to a certain point where it's going to slip naturally. Uh, and plus, this is how you get to the rivets to change this lining. This lining is riveted on. Here's, here's a lining. You can, I'll touch that if you like. Uh, that's a new one, right? That's a brand new lining there. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's and, that's, and once you pop this spring plate up, then you can rotate this and get to the nine rivets that hold it on. Okay. But if you do it wrong and you get your finger in there and it snaps down, it hurts. <laughs> yes, it's, 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 it's been happened more than once to me. Uh, okay, let me show you how the, um, the servo works inside. Now, we're going to use this vise. I always like soft jaws. Soft jaws don't damage metal, and they're real simple if you go down to a hardware store and get some angle aluminum. We're going to grab this on the shaft. Here we go. That one's tight. There we go. That's not the whole thing, but it's the outer part. You've got the clutch part that goes in, and then there's a cover on it to keep out dirt and stuff like that and oil. These are your adjuster nuts. This is what we're going to adjust it with when we do it on the car. And this is this is the applying part. Boy, this old thing's nasty. Yeah, I found it upstairs. There we go. Okay, this is pretty interesting here. This is the expander. This is what. If you watch it and I spread them up away from each other, they kind of get bigger. See that? That's what applies the clutch. And what you have inside is three ball bearings on ramps. Let's see. See these ramps? These ball bearings ride up the other ramp, and that's, what it, and that's how it applies it. Okay? Now, all that's dry, you don't need to lubricate that, right? Well, this one, yeah, it's kind of dried out. You do lubricate you do it when you overhaul it. it. Yeah, you put a dab of grease on each ball to hold it in there, basically, and a little bit on there. Okay. And then this, 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 this assembly here should slide real easy on here, so this is bound up. Because it has to come off, too. If you apply it, it has to come back off. It's got these, these arms right here, the ones that go to your master cylinder, they have to be pretty free, too. Because if they're binding... And then you see this, this, the one for the reverse, it's got a little rubber stop on here. Now what that's for is going forward it's okay but when you back up you know you let off the brake and if this rubber's gone you hear this clunk clunk every time you let off the brake and that's because this rubber is worn out and doesn't it doesn't 
do a nice, you know, soft return that way. Um, the rivets are little. This almost looks like grass, right? Do it three at a time because there's three holes on this back plate. That rivet should go in that hole. Watch, watch my fingers here. Oh, there we go. That rivet goes in there. Mm -hmm. If you look at the other side, Sorry, you can see the other side of the rivet. So Everybody you see that? Yeah, you can't take the filter washer off. Okay. No, you, you yeah, can't take that off. Because it's yeah. rivet and I'll get right. it. Mm -hmm. Right. What I do is just set it up here and do my balancing act. <laughs> Spread a little bit and then hit it with another punch. Okay. So the rivets are in there now, right? Well, one is in there. Oh, no. There are nine all together. I'm not going to do all of them. But yeah. so, okay. Do three at one shot and then you turn it. And you do oh, three more oh, and then all the way down. And just stay away from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so, half size. Yeah. yeah. This should never wear out, true? basically. Yeah, it doesn't move very far. Right. It's not like you break shoes. Yeah. Uh, usually, I don't know what the, the technical limit is on it. If it's close to the rivets, then that's you know, they don't start out very far. It's not very okay, thick. So that's, a, that's about, uh, about 100,000. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's, maybe that's I've never replaced one from being worn out. I've replaced a whole lot of been oiled up. Okay. That's, they get wet, okay. and that's what, that's okay. what causes okay. them to fail. These do, really, these do not move very much at all. Okay. It doesn't matter how fast you're going. Well, I found like, like we had a 61 at one point, and if I came to a complete stop at the top of a hill and started down and tried to break, that's when I didn't have it. If I wouldn't stop at the top of the hill and kept moving, then I had breaks. Well, you've got 18 inches of roll. Once you take your break, foot off the brake, mm -hmm. you've still got 18 inches of roll before it starts to work. Mm -hmm. Up to 18 inches, yeah. So once you start moving, it should be. It may not have been right either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of these cars are not, not set up right. No more questions about the servo? Let's go on to the master song.